Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept the string yes1 and yes2 as the input. Then s2 is formed by the repeated concatenation of yes1 for many times. A character is missing. in s2 so the program must print the missing character as the output now we'll take our first test case so here s1 is and and this is our S2. So for our convenience, we'll have a dot. So here the length of S1 is 3. So we'll check for every three characters in S2. So for that, we'll separate them first as three characters. And now we can see that it matches so here also it matches but when we see here this t doesn't match so t will be our output now we'll take our second test case here we have a six character So first we'll separate them as each part having six character. So now we'll check if it matches with S1. So yes, it matches. Here also it matches. Here also it matches. And here the missing word is Y. So, A will be our output. Now, let us implement our program. First, we'll get the string S1. Then, we'll get the string S2. And, we'll concatenate with a dot for our convenience. Then we'll have index equal to zero. Then while index is less than len of S2, then we'll come to our condition that is we'll have the string value equal to S2 of index. So index plus len of S1. That is this statement will separate the characters in S2 according to the length of S1. So we'll check for the length of characters like S1. Then we'll have to iterate over for in index in range 0 comma length of S1. So now we'll check for the index in string value and in S1. So if S1 of index is not equal to the string value index, then the character is missing. So so if the character is missing, then we have to print s1 of index then exit 
So if it is present means then the index will be incremented to the length of S1. So now let us execute our program with our first test case. So we have got T as the output as T is missing here. Then we'll execute our second test case. Here we have got A as the output as A is missing here. Our program has passed all our given test cases successfully. Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.